Trader's Corner, February the 10th. It's the 10th of every month. Welcome to Trader's Corner. I'm your host, the humble LTK here. And 15 degrees below doesn't stop me from being outside. Look at that. What? It's 75 degrees? Oh, okay. Correction, it's 75 degrees here. <laughs> okay, maybe I'm not that tough. It's great. Perfect weather down here. You guys living up north, yikes. I don't want to be there. Don't want to be, been there, done that. Got the t-shirt and the coffee mug. But if you want a better t-shirt, mm, LTK, got plenty of these. I got them in small, medium, large, XL, 2X, 3X. I think I even got one or two in 4X. Or if you don't like the camo look, because it's too militaristic. And uh, so there, no, but this is a good one too. So this is kind of just in, and this is a lighter fabric for you guys that are having those 85 degree weather days, you know. So you might wanna, you might wanna think about that. Or let me know if you wanna include a koozie in your order and a channel sticker, and I'd be more than happy to do that. And here's that guy. Mr. Salesman, Ugh. buy, sell, and trade. That's what we're here for, buy, sell, and trade. And I, you know what? If you want me to read it off on the air, here's my script here, I will do that. But you gotta email me before the 10th so I can get it on the list. Otherwise, go in the comment section, say, hey, I'd really like to have, I don't know, I'd like to have a cold steel Talwar XL in blue. Shit. Wasn't that what LTK wanted on Trader's Corner last month? Bingo. So if you want to fulfill your dreams, put it on the screen. And I've got guys, and you know, I've got requests this month. And my requests will be first in line, by the way. So here they come in our partial sunshade, kind of freaky uh, mix of... Uh, lighting okay there's this guy named love them knives it's love them knives at gmail.com and he's looking for a protec invictus you know the uh, prometheus works invictus automatic push that button yes i want it and i printed pictures off of the kind i wanted and no i don't want the black blade i want it either black with the satin blade or I really want the gray one with the silver blade. So that would be my preference. And I've got stuff to trade. I've got a Wii 702 Integral that's uh, M390, but I got, I got a crap load of stuff to trade. So if you're interested, let me know. And I'm also looking for a Chris Reeve Large in Cozy. And I don't want the inlays and stuff i just want the regular just straight in cozy okay plain jane uh but yeah i'm looking for one of those too now we've got other guys that are looking for stuff and uh we got chris styles he's looking uh he's got a ckf tashi justice 2.0 okay 2.0 that he's he would like to sell because he wants to buy a firearm and uh also riot made chavez redention 229 tanto it's got the hand rub blade so that may be a trade item as well but who knows hit him up for maybe trades and you never know and i have his email address down here i'm gonna put it in the description section and all the stuff will go in the top of the comment section then factor equipment iconic i got brandon and he and i've got his his email address here but he wants that the full size factor equipment iconic with the carbon fiber handle preferably um he had one for several years and loved it and somehow either lost it or whatever so he wants to get another one and i'm going wow those are whew, that was three years ago or more when I reported on those. And of course, they're out of print. But if somebody out there has one, uh, get a hold of him. 
uh, Brian Farber. Brian, he has a Spartan Blade CQB. It's used, but not used, okay? No box, and I have his email down here as well. He's looking to buy a Bark River Donnybrook, so there you go with that. Uh, oh, I got a buddy also, um, and I, I think his name is Will, uh, but uh, he... Uh, I got him going on uh, Instagram. He hit me up on Instagram. Uh, he's got a Benchmade Mini Infidel. And he uh, decided he didn't want a double-edged dagger style thing. So he's looking for maybe a Hogue OTF or whatever. He's kind of open. So hit him up on that. Uh, and I got his email. Uh, Lloyd, this guy has three wingmen. Uh, Tom Mayo MTNTs carbon fiber liner lock versions uh, black and blue black and red black and orange all three are brand new uncarried mint and original boxes and papers so you know check it out I mean I've had some requests for wingman since I had one in my last table sale that is gone but yeah, uh, I didn't even know that much about the Wingman knives. Sorry, don't keep up that well on, on those and others. You know, there's so much out there anymore. It's crazy. Um, one thing I'd like to bring up, I might need somebody to step in and offer to do PMI testing on blade steels. So if you can do that, and I'm just taking a shot in the dark, you know, if you can do that for me, I'd appreciate it. Uh, please contact me, lovethemknives at gmail.com, because Rolf, who's doing it right now, has stepped into a different position at his company and may not be able to do this any longer. So let's try and find somebody that can fill his shoes uh, for that kind of uh, testing service. That would be nice. It's a big service to the knife community, uh, you know, We've caught uh, a lot of different, you know, AliExpress merchants saying that it's D2 or it's this or it's that and it's not. So we have found that. And then, you know, Asher Knives not even knowing that, that their knives were not S35VN and we tested. And so uh, Justin got that all taken care of like a champ. So, but had he, he says, God, what, what if I'd have just kept going down the road and I'd have never known, you know? So, yeah, that, I mean, so this kind of testing is really helpful to people who really want to, they, they, they're, they're thinking they've got the right product they're selling to you and, and they're not aware that something's gone terribly wrong and or people who are just trying to fool you. So both ways, I mean, it's helpful to the knife community. Um, another thing, uh, I have several guys go, I got my Tucson knife addiction going, you know, and all of a sudden all the listings, they just disappeared off of eBay. What the hell? I'm depressed. I don't know what to do. I think my wife's going to leave me. No, uh, but never fear. Uh, it's not disastrous. It's called the Chinese New Year. And it goes from like the 8th to the 18th or something. So all of China disappears. So that means uh, we can just invade their country and they'll be sitting around, you know, lighting firecrackers and drinking. And we could take over the whole country. So I don't know why we don't do it during Chinese New Year. We might as well, but <laughs> that'd be cool. Um, and we'll take all their good knives. Um, okay, upcoming knife sale. Yikes. I don't know. I don't know when it's going to be. I, every month on the 10th, I tell you when my next knife sale is going to be, but I don't know. So I'm going to put a separate video out announcing the knife sale like I did on the late January sale. Uh, but I don't know now. Uh, everything's kind of upside down. I got five different guys sending me knives and they haven't arrived yet. I did get um, one guy's knives today. But I've got five others in route, and, and if they don't get here by, you know, today's a Wednesday, if they don't get here by Friday or Saturday, I mean, I, I need more than a day to be able to process them 
and look them over and get them on the table and make my list and all that. So it, you know, then I'm looking at maybe the 15th or 16th and you got Valentine's day in here and you know, it's just a mess. So, and then next week is doctors. It's my doctor's week. I've got, I'm going to be poked, prodded and processed, man. So I don't know. I've, I've got AFib. So I got a guy that's going to talk about putting a catheter up there and zapping the bad boy parts of my heart so they'll shut the hell up and let the regular rhythm take back over so i mean you know so i don't have to be on blood thinners anymore but i got to do that and i've got something going on in one of my eyes that i had cataract surgery on now i got to go see a retina specialist and blah 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 my internal medicine blah 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 so it's a bunch of crap it's like time to put this old chassis on the rack i think they got to change the timing belt put in new plugs probably clean the injectors tranny fluid <laughs> Uh, something so I just feel like I'm gonna get run through the mill but oh well it is what it is getting older um so don't bottom line I don't know when the sales gonna be okay here's an idea uh, oh yeah patreon drawing so I'm I'm continually getting new patreon members thank you so much it it, it is revenue to my channel thank God and you know what so I want to work for that. Okay, I want to work for that. So I, I know the reason they join, they want to be on an early table sale, right? So they get to see everything two days before the public does and get to buy what they want. As long as they tune in at 7 p.m. Eastern time on that day that I run it for them. Because uh, you want to be first in line to get the whole scope of everything laid out. But uh, surprised at uh, how good the response has been there. Plus, those are a lot of the guys that are sending me knives to put on my table sale because they know I will sell two knives per month for them and not charge them my 10% seller fee. So it's like putting it on eBay and eBay don't get 10%. Now, I pass through what I have to pay USPS to ship it to the new owner, okay? And I pass through if they pay goods and services on PayPal, so that's three and a half percent. But that's it, okay? I get the knife, process it, put it on the table, label it, make the list, do the packing, do the shipping. I don't charge them for shipping supplies or packaging or anything. I do print all the labels. I don't charge them for that. And I follow the tracking and ship it to everybody. So I do the work. You send me a box of knives, I send you PayPal money, bingo, and there you go. So uh, they're really happy and they keep doing it again and again. So they're starting to catch on how lucrative that is because if they sell a couple of $200 knives, that's 40 bucks they would have had to pay eBay. So that's like four months worth of being a member of the $10 Patreon group. So at least I offer, you know, goods. Uh, our services really for you being a member because I feel like I ought to offer you something for supporting my channel. Five dollar guys, you just get into the early sales. So if you want to upgrade to 10, that's fine because everybody's got knives to sell. Everybody's got knives to sell, right? Because we're a lot of, it's a hobby. So we catch and release. We can't keep everything we buy. So just think about it if you want to join up. Um, and I'll put my link down there so you can do that. That might be helpful. Um, uh, you know, another thing, straps. I got a few of these left, and these are really good. I mean, I didn't make these, okay? But these were made in the United States by one of the viewers who I talk to on a regular basis, and he owns a business, a manufacturing business. He knows what he's doing. These have got rubber feet, top and bottom. I probably got six of them left. 48 bucks a piece. You know, you might want to get one. Hey, you got that spoiled little brat at home? <laughs> um, but, you know, I'm just saying, they you can hang it on the pegboard. It's got a hole there. It's got rubber feet. And you could put compound here, compound here. So different compounds for different blade steels if you want. Or you could put that diamond paste. I've got some syringes of that diamond paste. And I can preload it if you want. You know, whatever. And you get a microfiber cloth and I'll send you a koozie and a channel sticker. 
Made in the USA, baby. Don't need to wait for the Chinese New Year to get over with. Besides, tonight I'm going to treat myself to a movie. Uh, one of my favorites from the 1970s. It's, uh, <laughs> it's Blazing Saddles. But it's edited for TV, so it's kind of strange. It's going to run from 8 o'clock to 8.07. Yeah. I mean, Mel Brooks. I mean, it's funny because he couldn't do any of his movies nowadays because everybody's so butthurt when you just do comedy. That's what they used to call it, right? Remember this, this picture I saw on Instagram of a guy sitting back there going... Uh, yeah, that's a joke. Remember back in the day when people actually had a sense of humor? Yeah. So, um, too bad. Some good movies back then. Can't watch them anymore because now all of a sudden it denotes something else in our society and uh, I don't get it. Um, White Mountain Knives, I've been going on there getting some... Uh, knives recently so i have checked the discount code and yes the discount code works and yes my account is going down in uh balance but yeah there was some stuff on there i wanted to get i got myself a, a zt t-shirt new one with the kind of the flag here and a big knife on this side it just thrills the people at the bar i hang out and then I got a Best Tech shirt. I'd never got one. They were too cheap to ever send me one. So uh, I got a Best Tech shirt and uh, just some other kind of knives. And I got that Harns Giant Silkworm knife. Check that out on my Instagram. In fact, if you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram. Because when I get knives in, I put them on Instagram. It may be two or three weeks before they show up on my YouTube channel. But they're going to be on my Instagram. Like just the other day, I put in the new Salt 2, Pacific Salt 2. Ooh, the Spidey flick gone bad. But, and on, on the paperwork, this is kind of funny. It says, uh, it says H1 Steel and gives the whole background of that. But it's not. It's, it's LC200N. I just thought, what the hell, dude? Are you not looking at what? And then, oh, by the way, um, and you know, and some others too, of course. This is going to be posted pretty soon. The CRKT knives, at least the roundup of knives that I got, uh, which I bought about five different ones or six different ones. And then I'll do some individual reviews on them, but I don't have that ready to go. Um, and then I got this the other day for you people who need a Tucson fix. I mean, I got this 284. So think about that if you when they open back up to sell i don't know if they'll be available but this thing is brutally wonderful and it's so weird because pocket clip pocket clip pocket clip pocket clip and it actually goes in and out of your pocket pretty well strange but then you can flick it using your finger or you know obviously eh, come here obviously it's a front flipper too so you can just kick it that way but that that there's a good size knife that there's a nine inch knife okay uh and it's a thick dog too it's like six tenths of an inch so that there's a big boy but for the patreon the ten dollar patreon guys they get one more benefit and then i'll shut the hell up about them but they get a, in a, on a drawing every month and so far it's a different guy that's one every month and it's been going for like nine or ten months because uh, I started it last April or last March, so it's been going maybe, yeah, 10 months. Uh, but this month in the drawing is going to be a choice. It's always a choice of a flashlight or a knife, just in case, you know, you're maybe into one more than into others and this and that, and I'm not here to, you know, to tell you what to, what to like. This is the S2R, is the, <laughs> it's not, it's the secret tube. It's a Seeker 2 Pro, you dummy, in mint green, okay? And this box has been opened. I think I got one that's unopened, but it's 3,200 banger of lumens, and it's got the little, the little lightsaber indicator LEDs that go around, so that I think is way cool. And or you get a choice of that, or the Spyderco Indela, 
which is it's bigger than the Delica, smaller than the Endura, and this is that blue handle, funky blue handle, and it's K390. So this K390 is this really incredible tool steel, cold work tool steel with 2.47% carbon, 9% vanadium. It's got 2% cobalt in it. Cobalt makes everything better. I put some on my sub sandwiches. I put it on my steak for marinade. It's really good. And so, yes, uh, you get your choice between one of those two. And so every month on the 20th, if my brain, you know, rotates around, I remember, I do it. Otherwise, I'll wake up on the 21st and freak out. Uh, but I've done that a couple times. So don't don't worry and or remind me if, it, if you didn't see it if you're a patron. So I appreciate all that, but get me my Chris Reeve. I don't care about those other guys. I read off their request. <laughs> Just giving them a hard time. But yeah, but that, I don't know why I never got the Prometheus Works Invictus because I'm an idiot. I saw it available one time and I just blown my wad on a bunch of knives. So uh, hell with it. But now, of course, you can't buy one for love nor money, right? And of course, you can't get automatics on eBay. So secondary markets, a little tough to find them. Uh, so help me out with that if you want. And if you got a PMI gun, you're going, gosh, wish I had something to do. I'm so lonely like the Maytag repairman. What could I do with this PMI gun? Email me. Email me. <laughs> I would love to talk to you. Uh, so... You guys have a great, uh, great week. I know it's going to be, what, 95 degrees in New York City this weekend. I'm sure, you know, it's going to be suffering there. But uh, we're going to try and drag through. It's supposed to supposed to stay in the mid-70s, and it's warm in the sun. It is definitely warm in the sun. The only thing I'm missing is the orange trees, and all my neighbors got citrus, right? And of course, do I? No, no, of course not. So, I love that tree ripened fruit, and man, it is so, so good. Um, that's it for me, I guess. I'm done with you guys. And you know what we do? We love them knives, so you guys stay sharp. <laughs>